Hello staging fam, it's me Aaron James. Oh my god, hey, it's me Mickey J Theatre. And what are we up to see Mickey? Six! At? Six! Wait, what? At? <laughs> the Lena Horn Theatre on Broadway. There we go. That was not the right thing. Six! <laughs> no, we're seeing six of the Lena Horn Theatre on Broadway. This is the first time we've seen the Broadway production. Yeah. But we've seen six a lot recently. Yeah. This is how many countries, Mickey? This is my fourth country, because I first saw it in Scotland, then a bunch of times all around the UK, and then a couple of weekends ago we went to the Netherlands and I saw it in Amsterdam. So this will be number four. This will be number three for me. It's going to be very interesting because we know that the Broadway production is the same production as the current West End one for its set and what it does. But then book-wise, I think it's closest to what we saw in Amsterdam, which was the version that had been edited for international viewing. So yeah. no longer GCSEs, it's now it was the History Channel and I, I feel think they like say something the different. Here. I think they say something different here. Oh, I I thought someone told me in a comment this is different again, so oh. we'll have to let you know. Yes, yeah, so we'll say what the differences are again. There's a whole different kind of entrance marquee here and we'll see what the six merch on Broadway is like. I feel like it's gonna be probably similar to everywhere else. So I think that's kind of similar. Speaking of which, I'm wearing my six necklace. Cuteness. You're wearing a like limited edition six t-shirt. I am wearing the Hampton Court Palace one because we got to see the original cast return to do it at Hampton Court Palace. And Mickey is wearing the socks. <laughs> we're quite, we're very excited. The one thing to note on Broadway is you cannot film the Mega Six because of the union rules. So there will not be a Mega Six in this. Nada, no um, Mega Six. But we're still going to take you around the theatre, show you what the differences are, and I'm very excited because I'm Fun little fact, I get to work on the London production of Six. I get to work on, I get to support on the press campaign for the West End production. So it's kind of fun to come and see what the Broadway version's like. Yeah. And there is the marquee. Six, the global sensation now on Broadway. It's not the marquee, it's the Lena Horn. It's the marquee of the, the marquee Lena Horn theatre. There. there is a marquee of the Lena Horn theatre. The Tony Award winning musical, including Best Original Score. Now what I like about the Broadway marquee is that it's quite similar to the West End marquee with the sequins. Sequin, sequin, sequin. That was the only thing I didn't really like about the marquee when it was in Amsterdam. It's fun that we're now seeing it on Broadway and it's preparing us because we're about to have an American Cleaves in London. Ooh. And we've just had an American Pa in London. So it's, it's going to be interesting. And here is the front of Alina Horn Theatre with a beautiful like calligraphy version of her name. It's very, very pretty theatre. Very cute. That little bit up there kind of reminds me a bit of the music box. It's walkway that you can see. And then to the right is the Copacabana, the famous place that is known for the Co Barry Manilow song. Copacabana, Copacabana. I've just realised this, yes. So Harmony over there, which is the Barry, written by Barry Manilow, and there's the nightclub that inspired his famous song Copacabana. And the co and the Harmony is at the Barry Moor. There's like Barry, Barry Moor. So much Barry. And then six, which we're heading to shortly. And we're preparing to go in. I like this lighting. Look at this fan art wall. And then when you come in, it's all sequins, around two crowns. Very cool. You come in at the side, so not through the main doors, but through the side. And here are all of the merchandise. We have New York exclusives. Look at this. The, <laughs> the subway lines so after the queens. And I crown NY. These are a bit similar, but it's a live on Broadway pin. It's very fun. Oh, and look at the bag with all the pins on. We love this. Oh my god, hey, it's Mickey Joe with the cocktails at six. We have the Rain or Shine, which has absolute citron, lemon monin, and club soda. The Air of the Dog, like Hair of the Dog, which is Jim Bean Fire, Granny Smith Apple Monin, and club soda. Fascinating. Uh, we have the Spill the Tea, number three gin, and white grape slushy. The Girls' Night with a K, I'm all about these puns. Uh, Sauce of Gold, Triple Sec, and Watermelon Slushy. Piccadilly Punch, Pink Lemonade Vodka, Pomegranate Monin Club Soda, and the Royal Lush Empress Gin Blue Curacao and Club Soda. Amazing. We also, a lot of young fans at this show as well, just like Wicked, we have Mocktails. And they are lemon, green apple, frozen white grape, frozen watermelon, pomegranate, and blue citrus. Are those the six colors of the queens? Gold, green, white, red, pink, blue. Yes, yes, I think they are. That's a nice touch. That's very clever. I have a lot of time for that. 
Then much like in London, we have the Crown Jewels merchandise stand as well. So Erin's already showed you downstairs this New York exclusive t-shirt. Uh, saying Queens, New York, that's genius. We also have that I Love New York style t-shirt but with a crown, I like that. This, the ex-wives tour long sleeve top. Haven't seen that before, that's very clever. We have some other more familiar merch items. We have the very necklace that I am wearing here, if it wants to come into focus, spoiler alert, it doesn't. We have this hoodie, this Sorry Not Sorry t-shirt. We have the Purple Six blanket, the same little trinkets that I've seen them selling in other places some magnets we have that cute little subway design there on a magnet we also have pins these pins for ten dollars each and then the Gabriella Slade costume pins now Tony award-winning costume designs we should add there are pencils water bottle another t-shirt there and there is a backpack over the side as well there you go that bag there that's also displaying all the different pins there is a six hat I glimpse in the background so much merchandise. Six socks, the very socks that I am wearing. House of Holbein sunglasses. Another six t-shirt design, mugs, program. So much, so much you can get here at Six the Musical on Broadway. Aaron James is buying the Six Live on Broadway pin to add to his Six pin collection. I also don't think I showed you, did I show you this tote bag? Maybe I did, it says Live on Broadway. Also the Queen Please fan, that's sold at other venues as well. And that cap, which may be a new cap design or maybe I just haven't noticed it elsewhere. And then as we approach the bar to order a drink for ourselves, I notice they have today's special. All you need is sangria. I don't know that that's a line from the show. It's not quite all you want to do and it's not quite I don't need your love, but it's somewhere in between. It is red or white wine, orange liqueur, ginger ale and juice. And it does sound both refreshing and delicious. Aaron just got ID at the bar. He looks like a young child. And we are seated in Molina Hall. Look at those red curtains, very royal, very cute. Three, three boxes on either side, and then what we're used to with the set. This is so much wider than the West End and wider than the tour, I think, but that was a really wide stage too, but I don't think it spread as far. I think they had a smaller set inside the stage. I need to watch that footage back. And we have our playbills and we have a slip that tells us which queens we have. Because as you know, with six, it's different. Oh, and like the West End and touring programs, they put the insert in of all the details about all of the queens, which is fun that they still have that even in a playbill. So here we are and we're all ready for six as you know it's a one act musical and we cannot film the mega six so this is the last thing you will see whilst we're in this auditorium but i will say it's a very nice auditorium very old feeling so because of the way that six works you are likely to see alternates on quite often and at this performance we have this slip telling us who is on we have all of the principal queens except for Aragon Holly Conway is one of these alternates there she is, we'll be playing Catherine of Aragon how exciting, yay! and we are post six post six shout out the one, what are they called? the bicycles with the things in the back we call them rickshaws, I don't think they're called that Petty bikes. Ah. I think so, pedicabs Basically, rickshaws. Shout out to the one of those outside Six who worked out he'd get more business by playing the yeah, music. Yeah, actually of playing Six. the show. There's been a lot of misfires with music. There's been some of. weird, some baffling choices. But that one worked. That one worked. It was interesting trying to see what was different between the two productions. I guess the biggest thing was a whole cast of American accents. American accents. No filming in the Mega Six, and so no line about filming in the Mega Six. Yeah. Uh, the occasional word was different. Like fit had turned to hot. And PBS. And PBS, that was, yeah, so then we've now had three different versions yeah. of that line. Because yeah. it was Remember Us from Your GCSEs, then in Amsterdam they did Remember Us History from the Channel. History Channel, and here it's Remember Us from PBS. Yeah. Because I was wondering, like, that, like, I feel like they'll be known here as a concept, yeah. but like even like the rhyme, like divorce beheaded died, divorce beheaded heads. survived, right. is that known here? I don't know. I was very intrigued about the extent to which yeah. this history is known and some of the throwaway lines like, rather than how the hell are they going to choose, how the purgatory are they going to choose, yeah. and, like, I wonder about how all of that landed. Well, to find out more of Mickey's Watch, you can head to his channel. Yeah, for... I'm going to be doing a video talking through the differences between different productions of Six around the world. So, comment below with your favourite queen and the emoji of your favourite queen. We have queen. more things to say. Oh, we've got more things to say. I went to the stage door. You did. And got Playbill signed. That's cool. They all sign over their different little queens. Oh, that's fun. I think that's cute. 
I like when it's a theme signing. I am amazed by how much more of a thing and how very well structured stage doors are here and I kind of wish that this was implemented in the UK as well because I think it just makes for such a nice and more refreshing experience. There's a designated barrier, like they don't take up too much of anyone's time. You can grab a, you can ask for a photo and they'll take a photo if they have and, the chance. And the security also are very good at knowing who's going to come out, who's not coming out, when to say that's it, we're done. Yeah. It means it just means it's a better experience for everyone. Uh, we also got two different cocktails. We, we did. got the the the, uh, the, the night royal the night, girls the girls night. night, girls night with a K, and the special sangria. Yeah. Both very lovely. They Both were enjoyed. very nice. Yeah, two of my favourite cocktails so far. Actually. Yeah, both of them were really good. And the girls night was a slushy watermelon slushy was part of it, which. And that was my favourite experience with alcoholic slushy, I think. Is that your favourite alcohol slush? Oh, the Wicked's was really good. Wicked's was? Wicked's was really good. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Don't know. It might have to go to Wicked's because green drinks, green melon drinks do it for me. Don't forget to head to both of our accounts to see more. Suddenly see more. Comment below with your favourite queen or favourite song or where you've seen the show before. Have you seen it yeah. on Broadway? Because we, we've seen it now in multiple countries. We'd love to know where you've seen it or... Have you got your first trip to six booked? It's very exciting to know. With that, it's time to say goodbye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. We hope you have a magical and stay to the rest of your day.